part three, NCLEX tips. No matter how much you study, you'll always get that insanely random med you've never heard before. My tip, the three S's. Know the side effects, identify the suffix, and find the similarity. Now, when the first two still leave you stuck, try to use the similarity method by finding the relationship between the medication and the diagnosis given. This has saved me so many times. Let's look at a question. Dicyclamine hydrochloride has been prescribed for a client with IBS. The nurse provides instruction on how to take the med, which statement indicates proper understanding. Our options are half an hour before eating, with food at each mealtime, first thing in the morning and night, or after I finished a meal. Okay, you don't remember the side effects or the suffix. Let's look at the relationship between the medication and the diagnosis given. This unknown med is being given for IBS. We know that IBS can cause sudden bouts of diarrhea, constipation, etc. So if we're giving a med for IBS, we can assume that this is used to relieve the spasms of the GI system. This question is all about eating. If IBS worsens with eating because this is a GI problem, we can process of eliminate that this med should be given before eating begins. We cross out these three and we have our answer. Let's do a harder one in the next video.